In this example, I'm going to write an equation for the tangent line to the graph of f at x equals 1. So in order to write an equation of a line, I need two pieces of information. I need a point that it passes through, and I need its slope. So I have the x value of the ordered pair, but I don't have the accompanying y value. So if I plug that x value into my function, I can get its y value. So 1 to the power of 4 minus 4 times 1 to the power of 3 plus 5 times 1 plus 3. So f at 1 will be 1 minus 4 plus 5 plus 3, and that looks like it's going to be 5. Okay, so this ordered pair then is 1, 5. And I got that by plugging the x value, which was 1, into our function. So f of 1 is 5. So the other piece of information I need is the slope. So to find the slope, I need to start by finding the derivative of this function. So f prime of x, and this looks like a polynomial, so its derivative will be 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus 5, because the derivative of this constant is just 0. So now let's go ahead and plug that x equals 1 value into my derivative to find that instantaneous rate of change, or that slope, at x equals 1. So it looks like it'll be 4 times 1 cubed minus 12 times 1 squared plus 5. So 4 minus 12 plus 5, that looks like it's going to be negative 3 for my slope. So I have the ordered pair, and I have the slope. So it looks like I'm ready to write the equation of the line y minus the y value equals the slope times the quantity x minus the x value. And this is just point slope form. So it'll be y minus 5 equals negative 3 times the quantity x minus 1. And if you wanted to write that in slope intercept form, you could easily just distribute that and then add 5 and you'll notice you have y equals negative 3x plus 8. So here are two separate equations that describe the line that's tangent to this graph at x equals 1. Let's go ahead and look at the graph to see what that looks like. 